Yes, Annie is based on a comic strip, but so are hit shows 10 and 20 years earlier. It's not so crazy to have a musical based on the funnies. Shalom, it's David Benkoff, the Broadway maven. Let's look at the four categories of Broadway musical, each involving more originality. Revivals, jukebox musicals, adaptations, and original shows. Revivals, of course, are older shows that try to reach new audiences. Some shows are revived multiple times. For example, Annie originally ran on Broadway from 1977 to 1983. It was revived in 1997 and again in 2012. Sometimes a revival does a lot better than the original. The longest-running American musical is Chicago. It originally ran on Broadway for a little over two years, a solid hit. But wait, its revival in 1996 was still going two decades later when COVID hit. It is now the second longest running Broadway show ever. Jukebox musicals differ from reviews in that there's a plot or story and thus more originality connecting the songs to each other. Some tell the history of the musicians, like Jersey Boys, about the rise of the Four Seasons. And sometimes there's a completely new story, such as when Mamma Mia used the music of ABBA to tell of a bride dealing with three possible dads. The third category is the most common, and that's adaptation. Broadway songwriters find something that exists and adapt it into a show with fresh music. Many adaptations are based on a novel, like Les Miserables or Phantom of the Opera. Others are based on a movie, like Mary Poppins or Groundhog Day. But some draw their sources from some pretty unusual places. West Side Story is based on a Shakespeare tragedy. Into the Woods is based on some fairy tales. Cats is based on some poems. Sunday in the Park with George is based on a painting. And Annie, of course, is based on a comic strip. Some shows are adapted more than once, such as The Wiz, which is a black Wizard of Oz, and Wicked, which is a green one. While revivals, jukebox musicals, and adaptations are all based on something, a small number of Broadway shows are original. Example. Avenue Q is an adult show with several puppet characters, a totally original idea. Welcome to Avenue Q! Or Dear Evan Hansen, whose title character struggling with loneliness, honesty, and celebrity was made for the stage. Revivals, jukebox musicals, adaptations, and original shows. Those are the four categories. Imagine you're a Broadway producer. Which of the categories will you choose for your next show, and why? What show would you revive? Whose music deserves a jukebox musical? What existing movie or book, etc., should be adapted for the stage? Or do you have an original idea? Describe your next show in the comments, and we'll respond. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to and browse my YouTube channel for its more than 50 American Jewish culture and Broadway videos. Just press the circle that says Broadway Maven.